The most exciting thing I see is the ability for DAV to be the key enabler of that internet of transport. What I see the DAV network doing is accelerating the safety and reliability of autonomous vehicles. It's laying the protocol, the foundation for the transportation industry. DAV to me is just the, the obvious next step. DAV is an open transportation protocol. It enables us for the first time to create an open source, peer-to-peer, -peer, global transportation network. This network includes anything and anyone involved in moving people and objects from place to place. We've got to have a way for our be able to interconnect the transportation systems or whatever they may be. They're providing a, a network and a platform uh, and a set of APIs that make it possible for them to sort of help uh, weave together all these disparate uh, entities and I think that'll make it much easier to sort of interface with this new world of transportation. And I think DAV is set up to operate across a pretty large scale there. We started last January in Moscow. In this first POC, I was able to use my phone to connect to the dev network, discover all the drones around me, and sign a smart contract with one of them for delivery services. This May, we connected another service, this time by Grad, based in Nevada. Grad has detailed 3D maps of many locations, no-fly zones, and a lot of other information required to calculate routes for drones. For our next POC, we connected the number of charging stations to the network. We flew a drone above Berlin. And when that drone ran low on energy, it broadcasted the need to the entire DAV network. A charging station responded to the drone, the drone landed, got charged, and took off to continue its mission. If you're trying to deliver a package, and your drone needs to recharge itself, and you need to find a way for you to pick up that charge without owning an entire infrastructure of charging stations, it makes sense that for your business to operate that you'd be able to leverage existing resources. So I feel like the DAV network is going to enable that capability overall. The thing that I, I see with DAV is because it's an open platform that does encourage competition, um, we will be able to transition more quickly to autonomous vehicles. Well, the future is definitely autonomous. Being able to do true autonomous operations is what's becoming you know, the big push nowadays. We started with a drone that was unable to fly from point A to B on its own. It also had severely limited range. But by allowing it to buy services and sell services, it is suddenly so much more powerful. And that's how you take a vehicle that was driverless and turn it truly autonomous. Well, instead of predicting the future, you're here inventing it. You're laying out the fabric, the foundation, the protocol, the underlying plumbing to connect things and people on the network, to enable them to communicate and transact and discover each other. DAV, it is to the future of transportation what TCP IP was to the internet. DAV is a distributed system on steroids. More and more people see the potential uh, in, in building such a network and why DAV is the right team to do that.